Hey, welcome. I'm Emeril Lagasse. That's right, right from New Orleans. And welcome to the essence of Emeril. You know, today I'm going to devote the entire show to this little teeny little bird, the quail. I love quail. You see, in the United States, the most common variety is the bob white, which is called partridge in the south. Although it's a game bird, nowadays bob white and several other varieties are raised on farms. So quail are a lot easier to buy and certainly are more available in local groceries and gourmet stores. You know, I have to tell you, a very interesting story is that one of my first farmers, when I moved to New Orleans to take over Commander's Palace, about 12 years ago was a quail farmer in LaPay, Mississippi, and the LaPay family, believe it or not, wonderful people, and we began organically to start raising these little birds and introducing them on the menu, and they're really, really tasty. They're very popular in the South. They're used and grilled and marinated and stuffed all kinds of ways. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of my favorite quail dishes today using a couple of my favorite Louisiana ingredients. What are those ingredients? Andouille sausage, and you could use uh, some different uh, types of sausage, smoked sausages. Hey, maybe my friends in Fall River, maybe you want to use this and do this dish with a little charisse or a little linguisa, or perhaps maybe a little blood sausage or some kielbasa on my friends up there in Chicago. But the technique of this dish, boy, let me tell you, what a delicious dish. And one of the important ingredients for this dish is tomatoes. And there's nothing like the spring in Louisiana when you can just smell and then taste and just eat with a little bit of salt those delicious Creole tomatoes popping out of the gardens. But one of the most popular classic dishes is called griots, or you might have heard it as griots and grits. And so how I was inspired to really kind of put this whole dish together with quail was the fact of griots and grits and andouille and tomatoes and, well, I'm going to show you. What I have to start with for some griots, uh, a big brunch and breakfast dish, is I've got some veal. Now, some people think that you can use it with beef, and you certainly can, but griots were really sort of introduced as the, the sort of the, not the scrap pieces, but the end and pieces of the veal or beef that really weren't going to be used and sort of what it is is sort of like a veal stew, if you will. Uh, so that's exactly how I treat it. And, uh, and that's how the classic was presented as little pieces of griots. They would stew this down and serve them with good runny, good runny grits or perhaps a little cheese grits. Now let me show you what we need to do. And that is, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to sort of season our veal with a little salt and a little pepper uh, and just get it good and seasoned and then what we're going to then do after that is we're going to take a little bit of oil in a very hot skillet and or a little saucepan as I have here and uh, what we're going to do is mix and get all the seasoning on that meat and what we're going to begin to start doing is adding that into our hot skillet and just sort of browning the griots, the start of griots. Now, what does this have to do with quail? Hey, that's a surprise. That's what it's all about, watching right here, the essence of emerald. So we're going to stop browning the veal. Or if you're using beef, that's OK. You can use beef. You want to just sort of brown it up and get it really good and seasoned. Now, once it begins to start getting brown, I then add a little bit of onion. And we're going to just cook that onion a little bit so that it can get tender. A few minutes. Just cook that up a little bit. You can see, you see that stuff on the bottom right there? The green wise, the green wee right there. We like that. We want to just sort of, it gives it all that nice flavor. And keep stirring that around. Now, once we cook this for about two or three more minutes, then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of those delicious tomatoes. Now, if you don't have fresh tomatoes, you could use some substitute or a little paste, I guess. I don't know. I never made it with that. you got to have this stuff right here. we got a little tomato, and now we add some tomato. And I've got a little bit of fresh thyme that I'm going to add in there. 
and uh, a little bay leaf or two. Hey, you got to have garlic. I got a couple of cloves of garlic. And then what we're going to do is we're just sort of going to season this around a couple of minutes and saute it. And what happens, the tomatoes are going to let off this juice, believe it or not. They're going to let off this juice, and that's when we're going to add a little bit more, of perhaps a little more salt and pepper and a little spice. And then what we do is we're going to add some stock. Now, this is just a basic little uh, chicken stock. Well, you could use water if you don't, but if you do use water, make sure that uh, that water is, is seasoned and you taste it and let it cook. Now, once you let it cook and let it stew, which is what I have in this one right here, you see that? It's sort of like a little tomato gravy, and the veal is getting really super tender because it's been cooking or braising. Well, let me tell you about cooking and braising because when we come back after the break, I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to stuff our wonderful quails. Don't go away. You stay with me right here on The Essence of Emerald. Welcome back, and I'm Emeril Lagasse, and we just about got all our ingredients for that wonderful quail stuffing, or that griots that I made, right here. Now it's time to finish it off, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. This is the griot mixture here, and you can see I've kind of let it get uh, somewhat reduced, and uh, take it off the stove, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the griots, and uh, this is a fabulous dish. You let them cool just a little bit. Now, if there's a lot of liquid in these griots, you want to strain off some of that liquid because you can use it for the next dish that I'm going to show you to make or uh, for the sauce. But if it's not too, too saucy, too liquidy, you just pop all those ingredients in the food process, processor after you let them cool a little bit, you see? And then, now what we do is we put them in there and... You puree them up, you puree them up, just like that. You do that for a couple of minutes, and um, after you do that for a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you the inside of this guy right here. You see that? We're going to scrape this right down, and it kind of looks like a little bit like shredded meat, you know? You see that? I'm going to take some out. Well, we're going to taste it right now. Woo! Oh, yes! Needs just a pinch of essence in there and a little of that wonderful emerald spice. Now, let me show you. To sort of tighten it up a little bit as a stuffing, I add a little bit of breadcrumbs. And actually, or I should say classically, classically, that's what they call a panada when you add a little breadcrumb like that. Now, I don't add any egg. I'm just adding a little breadcrumb. But I'll tell you one thing I want to add. I want to add just a little, little bit of cheese. Now, like I said, you could do this with, we did it with veal. You could do it with beef. Hey, maybe you want to do it with chicken. You could do it with turkey. We just make a little stuffing like this, okay? Now, we're going to put our top back on here, as they say, and uh, just work all of those ingredients back in. And you can see it's really, really getting uh, just like, see that? I'm going to show you that. You see that? Look at that. Delicious, huh? Now, Take that out, as I did here, and you let that cool. Just let it cool. You see what happens? We got this great little griot stuffing. It's a great little griot stuffing. Now, we got that. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we've got these wonderful quails right here, okay? And they come whole. Sometimes they come boned as well. And uh, what we need to do is we need to just sort of open the backs and take the breastbone off. And a lot of the butchers will do that for you, okay? A lot of the butchers will do that for you. I like to leave the little wings on, and uh, as you can see right here, and of course the drumsticks, the little sticks that I have. And then the one thing, of course, that you do want to do is you want to take a little bit of that essence or a little salt and pepper or whatever your favorite spice is and season that quail. And then what you want to do with that griot after it cools down is you want to get 
make a little, a little, just a nice little, it's almost like a little golf ball. And you can do them a little bit bigger like that. And uh, depending on the size of your quail. And we just sort of roll it up like this. And basically, what we do is we get a little stuffing. You see? And then we fold over, fold over our little quail. And we got them stuffed just like that. How about that, huh? And you can see I got a little bit more stuffing in here. We want to flip that over there and then bring the back side around just like that, okay? And flip it up and you got these nice little stuffed little birds. Now, if you can't find any quail, perhaps maybe you want to do them with some Cornish hens. Or hey, just take a whole chicken. Do it with a whole chicken, why not? Hey, be as creative as you want. Now, we got these Griard stuffed quail. So now what I want to do is I want to show you another one of my favorite little New Orleans twists. And that's making a little grits, a little andouille grits. I showed you andouille sausage earlier. Well, what I want to do is I want to take some of that andouille and I want to just sort of cook some andouille a couple of minutes and just extract some of that flavor. We just want to extract some of that flavor out of there. And once we get a couple of three minutes, that flavor gets out of there. You just take some plain old bayou water right from Louisiana. Well, you just take some of that local neighborhood water that you have, bring it up to a boil. Now, you got to give it some flavor. It's just water. It's not coming out of the tap seasoned. So you got to season it up. So now what we're going to do is we add a little bit of that nice freshly ground pepper and we add a little bit of salt and then we'll just sort of let that simmer up. And when that simmers up, what I like to do after it simmers and we get more of that flavor of that andouille or chorizo, or whatever smoked sausage you're using, I like to put a little butter in there, you see? We'll put a little butter in there. And then what you do is when it starts to simmer, these are quick grits, not the instant. These are just quick grits. Now, remember, you can always add, but you can never take away. So what we're doing is we're just stirring in. And let it. listen, the one thing about grits, it's just like using a roux, or it's just like using cornstarch or arrowroot. It's not going to get thick until it begins to start cooking and start to reduce once it comes to a boil. So you don't want to add all your grits in there right away. And if you read the box, half the time it don't work anyhow. So just remember that. You can always keep adding in. But right at the end, like I have right here, you see that? You see how the grits are cooked? They start expanding? Right at the end, I want to add a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Doesn't that look delicious? We're going to stir those in there. And that's when we're going to taste and adjust mm, the seasoning. Then I've got a buttered shallow dish. And what I want to do is, I know, we're not going to use them runny. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take those andouille cheese grits and we're going to mint, put them right inside of this buttered sheet. We're going to put that in the refrigerator and let it cool. And once it's cool, we're going to take our quail, we're going to season the outside of them, and we're going to pop them in the oven at about 375 degrees. They're going to take about 20, 25 minutes. And when we come back, I'm going to make an easy, delicious sauce to go with this whole dish. And then you'll figure out this madness. Don't go away. Stay with me right here on The Essence of Emerald. We'll be right back. the sauce that I'm going to make for the quail dish today is just flavored with a little bit of grilled tomatoes because when grilled tomatoes, when tomatoes are in season, there's so many great things that you can do with them and this is one. Or a good way to sort of kick in the tomato a little bit when they're not so good. I'm going to show you that too by simply marinating them a little bit, grilling them. But you've got to have a stock and uh, you can either use a little chicken broth or beef broth or whatever you have or 
if you made quail stock or a game or uh, duck stock. I got a little uh, chicken stock on. And now what I want to show you while we're going to grill these tomatoes is that I have these tomatoes right here that, you know, sometimes in uh, different parts of the year, uh, they're not very good. And so I oiled them earlier with a little bit of olive oil, as you can see. And then I put some great salt and pepper on them. And then basically what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of oil right to them, you know, just so they don't stick. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to start grilling them. Now, don't be alarmed because if you don't have a grill or uh, you're, not, uh, you're in 40 below temperatures and you don't want to go outside and turn the grill on to make this simple little dish. See, look at this. We really do cook here at the Television Food Network. Amazing, huh? Beautiful grill getting in there. Now look, if you don't do that, you can do this simply on a skillet. In a dry skillet, you can do that. You can sear them. Uh, you can just sort of oven roast them if you want. We want to get this wonderful grilled flavor in there, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. Now while these are grilling and our stock begins to start reducing, what we're going to do, I have my quail in the oven. Remember I told you 375 degrees. I hope that you did that for about 20 or 25 minutes. And um, then what we're going to do is remember those grits. We uh, had those andouille cheese grits put inside that uh, casa, the little buttered dish. Look, after you refrigerate them, you can either cut them in squares. It's sort of like making polenta except this is the polenta of New Orleans or emerald style polenta and you can make it really cute and use like one of these cutters if you don't want to just like cut them in half and then you just sort of punch them out and you make these little cakes you see that You make these little cakes and uh, hey let me tell you something a little olive oil and that essence spice right here and you grill them Woo! let me tell you that's delicious right there is a little snack you put a little dust in a Parmesan cheese and, oh, man. Well, anyhow, you getting the idea here? We cut these little, these cute little andouille cheese grit cakes out of here. Now, what we're going to do is you got to, you got to sort of bread those. So what we do is we put them in some seasoned, and I said seasoned. You're going to be tested on this at the end of the show. Seasoned flour and pop it in there with a little egg wash and right into the little bread little seasoned breadcrumbs. You see that? And that's what I have. I've got these wonderful andouille cheese grit cakes. Now you better be really impressed out there. Now, you see our stock is boiling and our tomatoes, they're all sort of good and grilled up. Well look, you just start popping them right in the sauce just like that. And if you want to grill a little bit of onion, hey, I suggest that too. Grill a little bit of onion and you put a little bit of that onion right in there now what's going to happen is that we're going to sort of get the flavor of the grill in this grilled tomato sauce. I got all the tomatoes off the grill. You can just sort of mash them in there a little bit, let them cook, let them reduce. But uh, let's taste them. Whoo! It is tasting good. Little salt. Going to bring out all that flavor of the tomatoes. A little fresh, freshly ground pepper. And here's the quiz right now. What is it? What is it right here? Essence. That's right, essence. You all passed the test. Now, let that reduce. Hey, you can make this the day before. You could make the stuffing the day before, two days before. You could make the grit cake two days before. And then when you're ready to just like impress all the folks, have them over. Let me show you how e easy it is for these cakes. We add a little oil in a skillet right? They're cooked. You bring them at room temperature and you begin to just start sauteing these little guys. We just saute them. Great for breakfast. You can put over egg, uh, over easy eggs on them. Little grit cakes with that. There's so many great things that you can do them. You could do a little ragu of some wild and exotic mushrooms. Put them right over there with some eggs. <whistles> hey, I'll tell you. Now, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cook these a couple of minutes on each side, as you see right here, okay? And then when they're cooked, I'm going to show you how to assemble this dish. We put the grit cakes right there, 
And then we're going to go to our oven 20, 25 minutes for those delicious quails that we cooked. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put those quails right on our little crouton like that. You see? And uh, then we're just going to take a little bit of sauce. And I hope I see you tomorrow right here on The Essence of Emerald.